Okay, guys, we're going to go over these three questions that are reviewing yesterday's section 2.7. Um, these exact type of questions are going to be on the uh, first part of the quiz this Friday, um, the day after tomorrow, right? So we need to really understand how to calculate the percent increase or decrease of percent change. So the question is, how does it change from the original 140 to 160? How does it change? What is the change? Like, just describe it. What kind of change is it? It's a decrease or an increase? Increase. increase. Uh, how much though? 20. Increases by 20, right? 20%. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean 20%. It means that it increases by 20. So the original amount was $140. Now it's $160. So it increased by $20. But we need to determine the, the percent increase. Okay, we need to determine the percent increase. So in order to do that, we need to go to our proportion, one fraction equaling another fraction, and we need to think is over of equals percent over 100. Once again, is over of equals percent over 100. So let me ask you this. Um, what is the increase? 20. So instead of putting is, I'm going to put 20 up there. Because what is the increase? It's 20. So let me put a 20 up there. And of, of the original amount, what's the of? 140, that's right, of the original amount. So let's put 140 right there. And of course, we are looking for the percent. We don't know the percent. So instead of the percent sign, I might as well put an X right there because that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to solve for X. And now I'm going to do cross multiplication. But before doing that, I'm going to simplify the fraction. I'm going to reduce the fraction. The uh, 20 over 140, I could cancel out the zeros. It's like reducing by 10. And then 2 over 14, you could reduce that, and it'll become 1 over 7 if you reduce both by 2. So now you could simply cross-multiply 1 times 100 equals 7 times x, right? So you really have the equation 100 equals 7x. And to solve that equation, you're going to have to divide by 7, divide by 7, and use a calculator. 100 divided by 7 is x equaling 14.285. Now, the, the thing is, uh, on the test, it'll say to give a whole percent, not a decimal percentage, right? So we want a whole percent, so we're going to round. So would this be 14% or 15%? 14. The 14 14.2, the 2 doesn't change the 4 to a 5. So that would be a 14% increase, OK? So you're, you're going to have to write down 14% increase. That is the answer for number one. Okay, so let's move on to number two. Let me clear some of this uh, space. So number two, the original is 76, the new is 92. So uh, let's set up our proportion. Fraction equals a fraction. What is the change from the original 76 to the new 92? <laughs> so if I go 92 take away 76 on the calculator, it's a difference of 16. And uh, so if we think 76 all the way to 92, that's an increase of 16. So it went up 16. So that's my change. So when I say what is the change, remember it's is over of equals percent over 100. So when I say what is the change, it's 16. So we're going to erase the is and put 16 up there. And of the original amount, which is 76. So let's erase the of and put 76 down there. equals percent over 100. We want the percent change. So let's put an x in place of the percent. And let's cross multiply. So I'm looking at my left fraction. And I know we could reduce both top and bottom by 4. You could use a calculator to reduce by 4. And your new uh, fraction will be a 4 up on top and a 19 on the bottom. So you could cross multiply using those easier numbers. I mean, you're going to use a calculator anyway. So you don't have to reduce. So 4 times 100, that's 400, equals 19 times x. So that's really 400 Four hundred equals 19x. So I'm going to have to divide by 19, divide by 19. Uh, that's going to be 21.052. So about 21% increase or decrease? Increase. increase. So there's going to be a 21% increase. That's your answer for number two, okay? 
Um, let's move on to number three. Um, so there's going to be, I think, two of these, two of these on the Quiz Friday, and there's going to be two of these on the Quiz Friday. That's going to consist of uh, of the 2.7 on the Quiz Friday. So let's move this up and let's look at this final price situation. So we want to buy an Xbox. The price is 375. There's a 25% off sale on the whole store, um, and the tax rate is 6%. Now we need to have this memorized. This one or this one, depending on whether you're going up in price or you're decreasing the price, right? But it's always the same situation. Take your original price, multiply it by parenthesis one plus R if it's, an if it's an increase in price like taxes or one minus R if it's a decrease in price when we're talking about like a discount. So we're going to use both of these, one with the plus, one with the minus. We're first going to do the uh, discount to find out what our new price is going to be. Now, once we calculate that new price, then we could worry about increasing that new price with the taxes. Uh, so let's first start with the discount. Oh, and by the way, when we look at the formula, the R has to be, it's the percent, but it has to be written as a decimal. So you have to change the percent to a decimal. And the way to do that would be to simply move the decimal place two spaces to the left. So it would be 0 0.25 or just 0 0.25. Perfect. Okay, so let's go with the discount first, which means that we're going to be using the one with the minus. Okay, so the original price was 375. We're going to multiply it by one minus the discount is 25%, but 25% as a decimal, that would be taking it from here two spaces this way. So it would be a 0 0.25. So 0.25. So that's what I'm going to put over here 0.25. So on my calculator, I'm going to do 375, parenthesis, 1 minus 0.25, close parenthesis, hit equal. Or you could say 375 times 0.75. Because 0.75 comes from the 1 take away 0.25. It's like saying a dollar take away 25 cents. That'll be 75 cents. So on my calculator, I'm just going to do 375 times 0.75. And we'll get 281.25. So what did we just find here? We found our new price, our new price, okay? And that was 281.25, our new discounted price, that is. So that's our discount, but we need to calculate taxes. Taxes is obviously going to increase the original or the, the price that we now have. So we're going to use the one with the plus because it's going to increase it. So let me move things up. So here we go. Um, we're going to take that new price and plop it right there. It's going to be 281.25, and we're going to multiply it by 1 plus R. And we said that the R was, uh, let's see, 6%. So as a decimal, what's it going to be? 0 0.06. So 0 0.06 is our decimal. Um, so now we need to do this with the calculator, 281.25 times 1.06. If you want to add that in your head, 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.06. So 281.25 times 1.06, we will get 298.125. Now, what's the actual final uh, price, out the door price? 298.13, the five does make that two round up to a three, so 298.13. So I hope uh, this helps. Um, I would definitely watch this video again, do these problems over again, because these same type of problems will be on the uh, quiz this Friday. Now the other part of Friday's quiz is gonna be solving inequalities, which we're gonna move on to right now.